everybody? Okay, one of the things that people uh, asked me to talk about, again, another subject was retirement. Do I have any retirement suggestions? Well, you know, here's the problem. As a professional photographer, professional photographers kind of like, at, at least in my, my day, they don't retire. I think about Big Daddy Don Blair. I mean, I think that old dude died taking a picture, you know? Rocky Gunn, I think he was on a cliff somewhere taking a wedding, drop dead, you know? Monty Zuka, I mean, same thing, you know, the, these people, he was at a wedding somewhere, I don't know, I'm making this stuff up, really, truly, I am, I don't, I don't know, but, I mean, photographers, what we do for a living is what the rest of the world calls a hobby, so it's like you, you, you get to retirement, and then you take up photography, why is it that photographers need to retire, I mean, to me, I, I mean, uh, Larry Peters said it the most beautiful I've ever heard it said. He said, some high school senior somewhere is going to have the greatest story to be able to tell all of their friends for the rest of the, their life. He says, and that story is going to be the day I drop dead. Because I'm going to drop dead taking high school senior pictures. He said, that senior is, gonna have, is going to be able to say that they killed the photographer. And I thought that was like the funniest thing I'd ever heard. And it was, it, it fit. It, it's me. Now, granted, it still takes money to exist. And the older you get, I'm 52 now, and the older I get, I find myself making decisions on poses based on whether or not I got to get on my knees. And I'm like, eh, we ain't doing that pose because I got to get on my knees and it hurts. You know, and I think as you get older and older, that's just going to get worse and worse. So eventually, you get to the point where you do not want to be in the studio banging and suffering and, and, and going at it 100% like, like you did when you were in your 20s or 30s. So when it comes to that kind of thing, here's what I highly recommend. I highly recommend that you do not... Do not get yourself into debt and that you get as quickly out of debt, if you are in debt, get out of debt as quickly as possible. Pay off those stupid credit cards, pay off your mortgage, pay off your studio no loans and pay off all of that stuff and find yourself in a situation where you are debt free. By being debt free now, you can start taking all that money, all of that money that you were constantly putting in to pay this one and pay this one and pay this one, and you can start kind of doing a little bit of saving so that when you get to be 50-something years old, 60-something years old, don't, re don't think, oh, well, then I'm going to get the check from the government. I mean, at least you'll have a little bit of savings maybe. You'll be able to make wise decisions with your money. And then you will find yourself in a situation where you can start pulling back, doing less and less and less work, and relying on your own self and your own savings and other things like, you know, maybe doing a little, I mean, I think Brad uh, um, Mickles, I, I think, is doing a little bit of this art stuff. And I, I think that's kind of awesome that he loves it. He gets to do a little bit of photography, you know, on vacations and things like that and turns around and sells it. So I, it, it becomes that type of thing as you get older and older. But as far as retiring, as far as the day that I hope I never have to take another picture again, I, I don't look forward to that. I don't, I don't hope to get to be a certain age and then quit taking pictures. It, it is just not part of my DNA. It's not part of my makeup. Hope that helps. Hope that helps explain it a little bit. And again, this is just my perspective. It's just looking at things the way I see them. Love to hear your comments if you disagree. Talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.